Hello, this is the Dots. Welcome to the Dots Brain. Here it is, March, three months into 2022. It is March and I'm so excited because that means the month has gone faster than we thought. Not even faster than we thought. It's just March and we have so many more months to go, God willing. It is Women's Month the last day of Women's Month, but I feel like every month is Women's Month. Um, honestly, every day is Women's Day because we make the world go around and around and around and around. Um, it's also Social Works Month. And um, as you know, I am a master's level social work and my track is Family Systems. And I wanna give a shout out to my favorite social worker of all time, which is why I went into social work. Beatrice Tyus, I love you, hon. You are my favorite social worker for the rest of my life. You'll always be my favorite social worker. So I want to say my shero for social worker or for Women's Month or just my favorite woman of all time is Beatrice Tyus. Um, she is my favorite because she um, encourages me, has always encouraged me. She's always been there through the good and the bad. And she rescued um, me and my siblings from uh, turmoil at a young age. And she's been there from the start to the end. I mean, graduations, um, brain surgeries, everything. She's always been there. Um, and I appreciate her. I could call her on the drop of a dime and she'll answer that phone. Um, I appreciate her. So she's my shero for Women's Month um, and my favorite uh, social worker. And she also graduated from Wayne State and she's the reason why I wanted to go to Wayne State. As many times as I tried to go there, I finally went there and I succeeded my goal. So shout out to Beatrice Tyus. When I met her, she was actually Beatrice Loggins and, uh, and then she got married remarried and got married to Mr. Tyus and her husband is awesome too. So shout out to the awesome husbands out there in the world. But we're not talking about men, we're talking about women's month. Um, so with that being said, I want to um, say that I hope that um, Katanja Brown Jackson uh, be the one who goes to the highest court of the land as the first black judge in America. Um, I want her to win so bad. I really do because she checks all the boxes. She checks off, I mean, check all the boxes. So we're gonna uh, pray that she gets it. I pray that she gets it because there's no one more qualified than her, period. She should have been in um one she's actually uh the best one out there of all the judges on the on the panel period that's even there now she's better than all of them um but that's what we do as black women we're overachievers in general <clears throat> but uh moving on um what are we reading this is what i want to say to my brain buddies what are we reading literally because right now I am reading um, Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. And um, what, I, what I take from her, I'm actually still listening and reading it on um, Audible because I'm an Audible person, geek. I have so many Audible books that I have listened. Some of them um, I have actually have a physical copy and some of them I'm just completely just listening to them. Right now, as I said, I'm leading, I'm listening to Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. And it's um something that I learned from it is uh being to bra being able to be brave enough to have the chance to take breaks, being um compassionate and learning it, learning that it takes time to lead on several levels. So you could start off as, you know, knowing that you are a leader, but you have to hone your your level skills of being a leader. Um, so 
I, I thought that was uh, very important and I'm still leading, um, learning to um, lead in different areas in my life. Um, so yes, that book is really good. Actually, um, I let this, uh, I learned this lady, I met this lady who uh, told me to um, get the book. She said, uh, Daddy, you're a social worker, so you need to be reading this book. And I was like, good. And so I took on, took up, took her up on her uh, word, and uh, I appreciate that she told me to read that book, and um, I'm actually loving it. I really am. Um, I got something. You know me. I stay. I stay with my nuggets, and um, I feel like at, at this time in our life, that in our in our uh, cancer survivorship don't be don't be so hard on yourself um don't be so hard on yourself because we're, there's always a, a a battle to to tackle there's always something that's going to be coming right around the corner but don't be hard on yourself because you can tackle that you've tackled so many other um situations and heartbreaks and those were just the tip of the bird those, those were just the tip of the ice or whatever but you know you're still doing good i'm still doing good um life is always going to have challenges and as long as you can stay positive i'm not the most positive person all the time um but the best thing to do is knowing that when you feel like brain cancer has given you a hard time remind yourself that you made it to your next breath, your next step, and your next and your next brave moment. And that's really important because every day is not gonna be a great day. But as long as you can look up and just see one, two, three, one 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 thing that made your day say, hmm, I made it. Hmm. <sighs> Take a breath. Reclaim your time. Reclaim that time. You know what I'm saying? Um, for me, what makes me feel good is a smoothie, mm -hmm. and I'm and I'm drinking one right now. And it smells and tastes so good. So if I can meal prep a meal prep my smoothies in the beginning of the week, towards the end of the week, I took my breath away on my own, and it's. You know, I, I think about, for me, I know a lot of our, my, a lot of my brain buddies, we have those moments where we're like, dang, I wish I didn't have brain cancer. Or I wish, you know, I was never diagnosed at all. But the fact that you did go through it and that you did um, have that diagnosis, it's okay because we're all in this together. We're all in this together and I'm here for you. We're, we're going through this simultaneously to come out with a better outcome, to have a better life. And we gotta keep going. Um, I think one of my uh, issues for me and me just, I'm just keeping it 100, is um, thinking that it's gonna come back, the recurrence of it. No matter how many times I go to uh, my brain's uh, scans and my MRIs and stuff or whatever, every day or every night, maybe not every day, but maybe not every night, but sometimes I may have a, um, I may have a nightmare thinking that, you know, it, it, I had a nightmare saying that my brain cancer came back. And that's real talk for me. I don't know if any of my other brain buddies have this uh, going on, but I know that I do. So I stay in therapy and I stay uh, journaling or I stay um, bike riding on my Peloton. In fact, this month um, I did uh, 28 days of bike riding on my Peloton. And each day that I'm on my Peloton, I level up. And so that makes me feel better, you know, so find you something that makes you feel better and where you don't have to think so much as what's the next outcome or what's the, 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 the how you feel seriously about your condition. Because the fact of the matter is 
no one knows how you really feel because you're the only one who went through it. But I feel you because we, as a brain cancer community, we all have been through it. But someone who has not gone through it or whatever, all they can say is, you know, um, oh, you made it. We're happy for you. And those are good things for them to say to you, but they don't really know how you feel because they've never been through it. They, ne they have never experienced it. Um, they can give you all the kudos in, in the world or whatever, but they don't truly know how you really articulate the feelings within your body, within your brain, how you really are feeling in that moment. And so what I would suggest to you is find something that makes you feel better in that moment. Call somebody, call your therapist, go to therapy, go for a walk, uh, find some friends. Even if your friends are not good, um, just hang with them just for a little while, just as much as you can stand them and then stop talking to them. For that moment and then reconnect to them when you feel like you want to talk to them um, and this is real talk because I have friends when I deal with them when I want to deal with them and then I don't deal with them again um, that's with anything though you deal with things when you need to deal with them and that's it um, you got to move on your vibrations and not anyone else's um, that's a, a, my good word for right now. Um, something to uh, think about also is uh, making sure that your um, your medications are timely managed. Um, for me, sometimes I take my med my medicines, my medications, but not on time, and so it throws off my um, my balance but I have to stop it. And this is real talk. This is what I go through with my brain cancer and survivorship um, things. So this is the Dots Brain. Thank you for listening. And um, as I said, find you a book to read if, if that's your thing. And that's one of my things. Um, I'm also eating some artichoke dip. Mm -mm. Which is really good for you. has all the ingredients and things that you need to be eating. <laughs> so, as I said, this is the Dots Brain, <laughs> where you can listen to my journey and my stories and how I feel better about my brain survivorship. And if you need any more important or feel some type of way about how you feel about and how you're going through your survivorship or how you can prepare for your brain cancer, uh, MRIs. I'm here for you because I've been through it. Um, one thing that you can do uh, like right now is uh, pray. Cause that's the only person, that's the only thing that you can do. Nothing's gonna change the outcome at the end of the day is to just be aware and to get ready for it. So at the end of the day, this is the Das Brain. I love you. Keep going. This is Brain. Uh, this is Dots. And I love you. Mwah. Kisses to you and you and you and you. We're going to close out this month strong uh, with uh, Women's Month and social workers month because really social workers really is get everything done you can have math you can have science you can have everything but social work is a um uh, encompasses everything we do everything we do everything we do everything baby mm -hmm. all right i love you this is the das brain like and subscribe to my channel and I will hear from you next month.